my crafters so here I am flying by the seat of my pants as usual and it's late it's nine o'clock at night and I need a birthday card to send to work tomorrow so here is what I'm starting with this is an eight and a half by eleven card I score the back piece at three eighths of an inch and I use my ATG gun to adhere that I put a little bit of black down here this is about two inches uh, just to mimic some road and I'm using my new old jalopy die Tim Holtz alterations die by Sizzix and what I did was I just cut this out of some very plain blue card stock and I took this tiny little rubber stampede acid free die base stamp the color of iris and I just went over all these little bits and parts of the car so now I'm going to do that with my red car uh, this card is going to be for a mechanic and I thought surely all mechanics would enjoy these little old-timey cars so that's what I'm doing so I thought I would just do real quick here the red one and gosh, maybe I've got some extra pieces here. No, those are from the windows. Okay, I'm good. All right. I think I've got all the pieces I need right here. So we're going to pop this little piece out. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I need my little ink pads. What have I done with them? You know, when you fly by the seat of your pants... Things aren't always where you think they should be. Here they are. Okay, so I am just going to choose the only other red one I have. It is called Scarlet. So I'm going to do that on all of these red pieces and show you what I did. Now I just kind of I went over the window areas. I don't know a lot about cars, but these old cars are really cool. These are the kind of cars they drove around when I was a baby. <laughs> that shows how old I am. Should I tell that? So I'm just going to come across the hood area there and just right here under the windows. And then let's look at the blue car. Maybe I'll just put it right here for some inspiration because I just really faked that and flew by the seat of my pants. So, we know where the wheels are, so let's just do that. I just kind of did all of the edges. That's a wheel. And then, of course, you always have a little bit of shadow at the bottom. You know, the wheels are right there. A little bit here. And then, I also did kind of inside the fender area there. Just mimicking that curve. It's all just suggestive, so. And I did like that for the door. And then just kind of filled in a little bit of color for the rest of it. Just swiping across here. Okay. Now I need to do that to these little pieces. And I just kind of just haphazardly just ink them up. You know, art is supposed to be fun, right? And this is an old timey car, so it can look however old timey it needs to be. Traditionally, these vehicles were black, but, you know, when people restore that kind of stuff today, they make it really cool colors, so that's what I think makes it so much fun. Okay, so I did all that, and boy, have I got ink all over my hands. So let's clean some of that off. Now, I took some of this, just a scratch piece of this kind of textured cardstock. 
I don't use it much on other things just because it cracks when you bend it. So it's really cool for um, die cutting, die cutting shapes. And so I just took a piece of that and swiped at an angle to get my window panes right there. So that's what I'm going to do with just this same color blue that I used and just swiped across here at an angle to mimic glass. Your glass always kind of has that shine, that shine on it. And so that's what I did. And I just held it up here and determined how long of a piece I needed. And I'm just going to snip that off. Let's tilt it just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to snip that off where I need it. And we're going to glue that in. Just really quick with the ATG gun. some across the bottom. Okay. Now, the really cool thing I like about the ATG gun, and can you see that glue in there in some of the windows? You can just pull this back with your finger onto the cardstock. And it will just hide back in there. And then if you ever miss any, you can just rub it off with your fingers. That's another really cool thing about it. Okay, there we go. And I took a black Sharpie and just drew my little handle on there. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. Can't really see it on that dark, dark blue. And then we need to glue our little pieces on here. And this has been about a 30 minute card, which is sweet. I love that. I tend to take a long time on stuff. Let's see, this goes right here. Glue on our fender. With a zig two way glue pin. Normally, I would have used the other one, the kind of brush tip one, but it is getting pretty low. All right. And one more wheel. Okay, now it's just a matter of figuring out where I want these to go on my card. Maybe this way. Looks a little more natural. And I think I will take my Heidi Swap Distress Tool. 
just distress this up a little bit. And I think I will put a little bit of ink around the edges to distress as well. I'm going to use this light color. It is called Wheat. And I think it looks pretty cool. Just to give that a little bit of age. Again, nothing too fancy. And then that look empty, so there we go. All right, I'm going to stamp happy birthday on there and call that good. And I'm going to use my favorite happy birthday, which is from the paper studio. But you know what? I have some new stamps. Where are they? Ooh. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this instead. From Hero Arts. This is CL371. I won these stamps from Kathy Rakusen's blog, the Daily Marker. Blogspot.com. So let's just break those in. That'll be fun. All right. What color ink should I use? I think I'm going to use my new Ranger Archival ink. It's a nice black. And there we go. Not bad for about a 30 minute card. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know.